Relax. Hello viewers, welcome to Baraza Media Television. My name is Jane Nyoike and I am the host of the Next Level Show. What is your next level? Today we are excited to have the Gen Z's in the house. He's uh, one of the upcoming artists in music. And uh, without further ado, let me welcome him to our studio. Thank you again. Welcome. I'm glad. It's my honor to be here. My name is Aili. Everybody call me Aili G, you know? So Aili G. Yes. Welcome Aili to our studios. Thank so you. So could you kindly tell our viewers who you are, where you were born, before we go deeper into our conversation? You're right. So to be short, you call me Aeli. I am an artist. First of all, mm -hmm. music is my art. That's why I call myself artist. And I am a songwriter, vocalist, okay. and yeah, lyricist <coughs> as well. And many, many you guys are gonna discover, but I'm an artist as a musician. Wow, so when the, did this journey of music start? Take us, take us back when you were small. Did you know that you're gonna become an artist? Right. Please. You know, they say what? They say this, um, there is a word in the Bible, it says, your children will have dreams. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, when you are a kid, you always have dreams. And the dream that I had, yes. it was always on the stage. That what the dream I had since I was a kid. Wow. I was a singer, like I usually sing normally, you know, I'm a kid or like making noise. And sometimes parents are like, yo, shut up, stop singing and things like that. But right. I couldn't because it was within my blood. So I was like, yo, I just love singing. And here I am today. I'm singer. I'm a singer. I perform great. I'm just proud of myself. Very but good. it started when I was young when you were young. Yeah. So were you singing at school? Where, where did your singing start? At school or maybe in church? Yeah, I remember when I was five, no five, when I was seven, mm -hmm. I started to sing in the choir, like the kid choir. Okay, yeah. Sunday school. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday school, school we called yeah. it. Yeah. But it didn't take too much time, like, you know, but people, once I was doing it, people, hey, they were like, wow, this kid have a voice okay. you know the things but to me it was not something that i was like you know but i always loved to be a musician wow. because the most person that inspired me most of the time was my mom oh and she's your your mom yeah to she's be, a singer too she used to be a singer but now you know the age but yeah she was my mother to be honest every time when i was crying mm -hmm. for her to calm me down and things like that she'll always sing for me you know, especially, I just love the vibe when she was singing, telling me stories with the songs in them. It was just something that made me to love music. Wow, wow. Yeah. But I, I'm going to take you back a little bit. So, were yes. you born in Canada or where were you born? You're right, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm an African guy, as you can see. You see, I'm an African yes, and I'm proud to mm. be African, but I was born in Congo. Oh, you were born in Congo. Yes. And, and then you, you, your parents migrated, I guess. Yeah, we migrated here when I was 17. Okay. So, and my professional career in music started here. Because... At seven, uh, okay. Yeah, Good. at the age of 17. But mm -hmm. I went record... Like, my first recording, it was when I was 18. Really? And I'm telling you, it was expensive. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yo, let me just learn this craft. Wow. Even though it was expensive, he pushed me to have more skills. Right. So it was like I'm serving the gift of music, which led me to become even producer, start producing my own songs and things like that because I saw that I have a gift. But because, of, you know, like uh, finances, yeah. it made me, it pushes me actually to have more like knowledge in the music industry. Very good. Yeah. So take us through, let's say I have a good voice. Yes and I want to sing. Mm -hmm. So w take us through the stages of how do you go about it? To be honest. Like, it, for example, <clears throat> in your case, what did you do to be noticed? So, first of all, mm -hmm. like when I started, I went to the studio. Okay. 
So you have to have first the, the idea of the song you have. Okay. You have the idea, you mm -hmm. write it on paper or right. like on a phone, mm -hmm. something like that. And then you went to the studio. Right. If they're going to make a beat for you, they make a beat. Okay. You're still going to pay for the beat though. Okay, no I really want to understand like... I, re I don't know nothing about music. Okay. So, and uh, let's say I have a friend or a sister who would mm -hmm. want to go into it. So, give us through, take us through that process. Yeah. So, you record, I mean, you start writing your song. Mm -hmm. You write the melody and everything. Okay. And then you go to the producers. Okay. And then the producers are the ones that are going to shape your voice. Okay. To, like, the way you sing, they're going to clean your vocals. Okay. And so that it can become a song. And me, I did that at the like when I was 18, wow, and I did it here. Exactly. Yeah. And um, you don't have to tell us the exact approximately how much does it cost to put together a song and uh, to get it out there to the public. Mm, to be honest, m like my first song, mm -hmm. because I went to the studio, like it was pretty known in Saskatoon. Right. It costed us like 600 mix and mastering. Okay. And that was 2016. That was expensive. It was expensive. Yeah. And that was actually the expensive studio that I went in. Right. But the first studio that I went in, it cost me around like $300. But I didn't pay it though. Because I was like, yo, what? $300 just for recording and things like that. Right. It pushes me actually <laughs> to go <laughs> and learn how to record myself and how to produce myself. Very good. Yeah. And the songs that you sing, <laughs> Is it original? Are they yours? Like you, you came up with them. Is it your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mm -hmm. are my original songs. As oh, I say, wow. I'm a vocalist, mm -hmm. lyricist, right. songwriter. I write my own songs. You write your own songs. So, yes. Mm -hmm. I produce my own songs. Okay. Which is like advantage to me. Right. But I do collaborate with other producers because, you know, having one like stream like when you have a same flavor you know like you always like i'm that kind of person like i'm tired with one flavor i have to touch his other flavors right and that's where it comes with other producers right they produce beats but i write my own songs very good yes. now tell, tell us something mm -hmm. where do you, do you sleep and you dream those songs or how do you come up with the lyrics coming up with the lyrics it depends with the mood that i am in Oh, yeah, okay. because like I'm an artist and right. I have to be authentic, like yes. authentic, yes. which means if I'm in a good mood, mm -hmm. I'm going to sing love songs. Okay. If I'm in a sad like mood, you just it's going to be maybe that sadness. Or if like I have a breakup, like that, those challenges, I'm just going to sing those right. things into my music. That's how I create my song. But most of the time, I'm a happy person. Okay. I love laughing, smiling. Right, I can and see. You. Yeah. <laughs> that's why most of my music is just you're gonna fire like the vibration of love, happiness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and those mood because I operate in the highest frequency. Fantastic. Thank you. So let's say it's in the middle of the night, let's say 3 a.m., mm -hmm. and a song comes into your mind. Do you wake up and write it down so you don't forget? What do you do so you don't forget? To be honest, there are days, those days actually happen. Right. Like, when I'm just like, you know, I'm just getting an idea or I'm listening to a beat, mm -hmm. a producer, because you know, the producer that I work, most of them, they are from Africa. Right. And their time are different. Right. Sometimes there it's day, mm -hmm. they sending me the beats, but here it's a night. Right. And when I'm listening to the beat, it just give me, mm, I feel I'm vibing to mm -hmm. it. Yo, I just gonna get up and start like, learn, like writing, mm -hmm. like vibing into the beat. It might even take me 5 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, sometimes I don't sleep. Right. Yeah, sometimes it happens, I just work on the song and I still have work that I have to go to. And after the work I come, I'm tired, but what can I do? I have to finish the song. Sometimes it takes me two days without sleeping. Excellent. Yeah. So you're in Canada and we know that we are both yes. visible minorities. Mm -hmm. So what challenges have you encountered? There's in this industry <coughs> of uh, entertainment because it's not a very easy industry to, to right. penetrate. Eh? That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, give us some of the challenges that you've gone through. The greatest challenge in this industry that I would say, first of all, is here in Canada, mm -hmm. people are busy. Okay. Especially when you're trying to make your name. Right. Now people are so busy doing, right. like, and they don't pay attention to you. Who are you? 
They, you're mm -hmm. trying to make a name, but everybody mm -hmm. are busy. They don't have time to listen to you. So mm -hmm. that's, it's the first challenge that we find here. Mm -hmm. And the second challenge that we really always find is that financials, mm -hmm. because Financial, you are promoting a song mm -hmm. here. It's not like Africa. Okay. Like you, you really, really have to spend a lot of money just to do that. Here? Yeah. Okay. And that's really a huge challenge, even though we're still doing it, mm -hmm. because I can't stop making music. I love music so and much. And how have you tried to, to elevate that, you know, to get out of that uh, challenges? Because life is a challenge right. by itself, yeah. Mm -hmm. So most of, like for me, Actually, I'm gonna give thanks and shout out to my team, okay. VL Production, mm -hmm. because you. What did you just say? VNL Production. Yeah. Very good. They are just wow. Mm -hmm. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am, guys. I'm just gonna be straight up with it, right. because they support the talent that I have. And if you see, I got a lot of songs mm -hmm. and videos. It's because I have a backup team that is actually pushing me right. to go, hey, making my music to go even far. Mm -hmm. So I give shout out to uh, VNL Production mm -hmm. and all the team and actually the fans that are actually supporting me. Right. And the other challenge that I find here, mm -hmm. especially, you know, is not, you are not welcome in any community without an introduction of somebody. Absolutely, it's and everywhere, yeah. The hard thing that it makes me feel sad a little bit, mm -hmm. it's because our own community, they don't support us. Wow. And that's really a huge challenge to artists. And now we're like, yo, let me say I'm Congolese. Right. I speak Swahili, so like, you know, East Africa. East Africa, yes. Why don't they support us? when we sing Swahili, we are your local artists, but you don't support us. You decide to support and somebody else, like, I don't know, from America, mm -hmm. you're listening to other people, you're supporting them, but supporting us, it becomes a challenge. It's really a huge, huge, huge burden that I can say. What do you think, what makes that? Is it because of our mindset? Colonization maybe has some effects with our minds, or what do you think it is? I really not going to touch into that, but okay. I'm just going to say just one thing. They say what a prophet does not have respect in his own community. That, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. So, <laughs> ah, guys, but I would love you guys to support us all because we are your local artists. If you push us mm -hmm. to the people that you know, to your connection, we're going to go far. But are you guys leaving us like that? Very true. You know. And uh, tell us also, what are some of your success story? Because, I mean, tell us. The success story that I have, I can say everybody, like small people that know me, they know me as Aeli, right. as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not this guy like you who usually just go to work and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I actually make a name for myself. Have and you ever performed? On stage. Yeah, I'm going there. You're going so, there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I made a leader of me to be known, right. which is I was recognized by a festival New Dafrique. Wow. I performed Bravo. like 2023. Excellent. Congratulations. And also I mm -hmm. perform at Ballet too. Yes. And I actually had another opportunity where I was like invited to uh, Can Radio Canada. Okay. So I went there like uh, very it, good exposure. For mm -hmm. real, like right. It helped me actually to push my music and things like that. So, right. yeah, I can say there are beautiful things in this music because it makes me younger, it keeps me younger, and it makes me happy. So I'll continue to do whatever the challenge is. I'm still going to continue doing it. Excellent. So yeah. for to perfect your art, do you have a studio? Do you have a studio where you normally go? Yeah, as I told you guys, I gave shout out to VL Production. Right. It's a production that produces music video, it produces audio as well. Mm -hmm. So all my songs and all my video, they are the ones who produce it. So actually they produce every song that you see that are on my social media. So I give shout out to them. And by the way, without forgetting guys, I invite all of you mm -hmm. to my show. Okay. It, when is it? Oh, you have a you have an upcoming show. Yes. Oh, I tell do. us. So the show that mm -hmm. I'm performing, like I'm telling you guys, is gonna be at on 19th October next month, okay. and it's gonna be at Afro Music. That day, I'm going to actually to reveal 
the mm -hmm. album that I'm working on. So you are working on an album? Yes, I do Very work good. on the album. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to introduce some songs that okay. are going to be in the album. And actually, maybe I might give you the date Please do, when the, the, the album are, will drop. Yeah. So I'm not going to do it here, guys, but I'm going to tell you that please come. If you really want to see me perform live, you want to see me sing, you want to see eh, the spirits behind Aeli when it comes to the music, please come that day on 19th October next month and it's going to be at 5 p.m. on at Afro Mise. So the address is uh, 533 Ontario Street. Now, please, our viewers mm -hmm. would like to hear, just give us a little you know, sing for us, do something. <laughs> it seemed that thing like when it comes to interview. Give us a little taste of, of, of <clears throat> your songs. No problem. Please. But I was just going to tell you guys, if you really want to hear more, please come to the on 19th October. That's correct. Because I'm going to sing live. You'll see the band here. It's just a cappella, which is I'm going to do it for you guys. Go for it. Because you are amazing. So I'm going to just like sing a little part of the song that I just released two months ago, sure. which is Body. Mm -hmm. You can find it on all platforms. Okay. It goes like this, the pre-chorus. Okay. Mm. Your body, your body. When I look your body, I got appetite. Mm -hmm. I can do anything for your body, girl. Oh, your body, your body. When I look your body, I got appetite. I can do anything for your body, girl. I don't mind if they call police. Utakuwa wa wangula zis. Come give me color. Usina cheki polo. Eh, I don't mind if they call police. Utakuwa wa wangula zis. Come give me color. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you really have a very good voice. Thank you. It's my pleasure to sing for you guys. Wow. So please tell our viewers again, repeat, when is the function again? It's going to be on the 19th October. So it's going to be at Afro Mise. First of all, I'm going to say shout out to Afro Mise for giving us the space. And that day, I need all of you to come. The tickets are going to be are like even breed. So please buy your ticket because you might miss it out because we only do a limited addition. It's not like many people who will have access to that day. So it, when it's right now, you need to go get your ticket because in a few days it might be sold out and you'll be missing a chance to see me perform live. So it's going to be at Afro Mise. The address is 533. Ontario Street East. Please come and show me support. For you to buy a ticket, just go on any of my social media. You're gonna see on the bio. You will see like the link on the bio. And also, thank you. That's all I can say. Wow, well, thank you very much and congratulations. And guess what? Yes. I'm gonna be one of your clients. I'll come to watch you sing. I will do that for sure. So, wow. ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is the only time we had for today. On behalf of uh, Baraza Media Television, my name is Jane Yoike, and I am the host of the Next Level Show. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the management of Afro Museum for giving us the opportunity to showcase what we do best. Thank you, and uh, don't forget 19th of October yes. at this place, mm -hmm. Afro Museum. 533 uh, Ontario East and the closest metro would be Metro Berry. Berry you That's come. correct. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Until we meet again. Bye for now. Relax.